It's so big. Please get rid of it. Not big. I don't like that you touched him. Don't say that. Sorry. And we're missing up ninety four percent of our animal species, and they're very important. Ah, oh, we're to drunk. Well, no. <laughs> No, you have to go outside now. Really? Yeah, go. No, I'll do oh, the wait. intro. No, no I'm brave. Do I'll do the intro I, I this do, week. I no, I got it. it. <laughs> Listen, I want to do it alone. Please leave. <laughs> hey, viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Wine About It. Oh, if you are, hey. You, welcome. This is a good intro. I am doing my best. Um, if you are new here, uh, welcome to episode number twelve. Um, we haven't done enough that you're too far behind and you're stressed out. You can still catch up and watch all of them, and we'd appreciate it because we are monetized on YouTube now. Congrats to us! Woohoo! Yes, if you um, are new here, we have a Patreon, and yes, I'm plugging it in the first minute because we just recorded. The first episode of this week on Patreon with our wine, and we are both three glasses deep for this YouTube video this week. And if you're my family, please leave. I've asked you so many times not to watch wine about it, especially today. And I don't drink. I can still go to the Celestial Kingdom if I try hard enough, and I've been meaning to talk to you about that. Um, Maya's wearing a moo moo. Hi, Maya. Hello. How Is was your it? pee? Did you wash your hands? I use hand sanitizer. This doesn't count, but okay. Really? Yeah. Um, is it, uh, is it too early to talk, to say bad words? Yes. Yes. It's been two minutes. Okay. Wine of the week. Let's start. We're ready. We've oh, been Oh, put ready. the lid back on. Put the lid back on. Put the lid back on. Oh. Hurry and chug that, 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 chug, 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 No, no, finish, finish, finish. Don't make a noise. You haven't tried it yet. You don't know what it tastes like. Go, go, go. Oh. Hey. Now pose. Pose. We just started. We just started. Put it on the face. Do it. Do the thing. Put the bottle down, Maya. No, we haven't introed it yet. Hi. I don't to be normal. Get it. Just, just. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Smile. Oh. Welcome to Wine About It. We had such a good week, and we are so happy, the both of us as humans, and we're so happy to have you here on our channel, Wine About It. If you want to hear more of us, we have a Patreon where we've already talked for an hour and a half, but we're here <laughs> for this episode half. for YouTube. This is the YouTube exclusive episode. It's also on Patreon without the censors. Gee. They will hear me say the word fuck. However, you guys didn't, so what? How far are you through the bottle? Bro. I was gonna say it's so bad because I'm halfway through this. I told you I was committed. I need you to step up your freaking game. Well, I have to get up at 7 a.m. to take care I don't of an care. old man's farm. Screw the old man. Quite literally, so then he leaves you the farm when he passes away. Oh. Have sex with him. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Caleb I will lost understand. I nose goes earlier, and Cutie said that it, it was a nose goes for who has to cheat on their boyfriend. <laughs> she lost. <laughs> So she has to. <laughs> she has to. No, Welcome to Wine About It. Caleb. You know, everyone's favorite thing on Wine About It is when we talk shit on other podcasts. And so I think we should do that. Wait, should we introduce the wine? Yes. This week's wine is called Olema. Olema. It's a Sava 2021 Savage Non Blanc. Savage Blanc. It's bad, guys. It's not it's, good. No, we haven't tried it yet. Maya, oh. do the wine pour. It's not going to make the noise because it's not. Oh, just do it. Keep going. Audio listeners, I peed. No, just keep going. <laughs> Why? Because on the Patreon episode, I made a joke about the wine pour. That was good. It was a good joke. Dude, I can't drink a whole bottle of wine. Maya, well, that's what we're doing on this I day. I will die. <laughs> that's the episode? <laughs> We just drink a whole bottle of wine each. I'm just gonna drink until I die. Wine about it, episode. Wait, infinity. it's been long enough. Can I say what happened when I peed? Wait, let's do a wine review really quick. Uh, yeah, let's do a wine. Wait, I haven't poured mine. Stop. Ah! I this is my it. first time trying this wine. I hate it. Audio Stop. listeners, it sucks. Audio listeners, 
Imagine you're stuck in traffic. Oh, look, here's my whole bottle. <laughs> How many calories is this? Oh, shut up, dude. It's fine. It's wine. Calories don't exist when you're drinking wine. It's a white wine. This reminds me of my times on the golf field. Um, I think that this was... Imagine you heard the wine about it pour and you really had to pee. <laughs> It'd Dude, make that you joke pee. hit way harder on the Patreon. Go check I know. Out. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This actually, why don't we spend a whole episode on YouTube plugging the Patreon? <laughs> they would love that. We post nudes of our dogs. It's true. None I of do them are wearing clothes. I do post pictures of dogs without their collar on. Clothes on. Yeah, that's true. Swift has to go. Swift has to go to the vet tomorrow, and I'm actually really sad. Oh my gosh! I also have to wake up at seven. Dude. Uh, it's gonna be rough tomorrow. Yeah, Swift goes to a specialist. Mm. And he has to get his ultrasound done. He gets an ultrasound done every six months to see if his tumor's grown. So next week, I might be devastated. Or I might be getting back from a camping trip. I'm supposed to go camping this weekend. She's gonna love it. I might not go. I haven't told yeah. the people I'm going with that I might not go, but I might not go. But I paid for my part of the Airbnb, but I might not go. Leaving the house gives me a lot of anxiety. You should go. It's been long enough that I can talk about what just happened. Oh, wow. Well, I just tried this wine, and it's so gross for the first time. Yeah, it's really It's so sour. sour. It's like a Sour Patch Kid. It's really sour. We're like... And it tastes like nothing else. It's my first glass. Hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, so for those of you who don't know on YouTube, uh, I do have electricity, and I do have internet, and I do have water. But I don't have septic. Um, because the county won't give me a permit. Alright, well, it's, it's not drama. It's fine. I don't need to talk she about that. She has the a pee right hole. Now. Anyway. One in her uh, body and one outside. I don't have a pee hole outside. I just pee outside. Oh, eventually it'll create a hole because that's how erosion works. But I don't pee in the same place every time. Oh. I go in different places. But what happened is actually really relevant to what you said earlier. Cutie accidentally gave herself a pap smear because she was scrubbing with a with a brush and it went in her vagina. And I just went outside to pee and it was dark and it's spring, so everything is growing. Um, and I squatted to pee and I think a wildflower went in my vagina. And I'm not <sighs> really sure if that's like poetic and cute or like not good. <laughs> oh no. It's better than a pokey. Yeah, it didn't Not hurt. Not pokey main, but like pokies. It didn't hurt. It was just a little shocking. Pokey could go in my vagina if she wanted. Whoa. Probably not, actually. It was just a little shocking. Yeah. A little shocking. But like an actual pokey, the, like pokey weeds, ouch. Yeah, ouch. What kind of wildfire? Did you pick it? No. Let's sell it on eBay. Go out and get it. That's crazy. We press it. Do you think, it, honestly, me. sometimes I think about this, and this is going to be graphic for everyone that's interested. Um, the day before your period, your vagina is just weird. Or, like, maybe, like, right before it bleeds. Am I crazy? I feel it in my fingertips. Well, right before your vagina bleeds. No, I feel the alcohol in my fingertips. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right before your vagina bleeds, shit is weird down there, and it just... It's not that, like, it, like, stinks, because I hate when people are, like, stinky vagina, but it's just, like, definitely, like, pre-period smell, and that has got to be the best-selling underwear. I don't know if people are selling their underwear correctly. Am I crazy to think this? Uh, they might be tapped into that. Dialed Do you in. think? Yeah, Because there, sure. I think there should be days of your cycle that are worth more. Well, depending if you're look. buying for stank. I'd have to look into it. I don't know. I'm Googling it. Don't. Buying she made underwear. me Google Google Google. <laughs> she Google. made me Google labia in the page. I don't know where so it, was. it was. Okay, and I googled Buy it on my streaming PC, not on incognito. Used underwear. That's bad. That's bad news bears. Would hate to leak something that I was looking up that's inappropriate on my streaming PC. <laughs> I've never seen anyone do that. That'd be so embarrassing. Sniffer.com. Wine about it. Brought to you by Sniffer.com. Used underwear. Safe and anonymous. Don't say brought to you by. Don't do that. We're they're sponsoring us. No, they're not. Thank you for sponsoring us. You have to This is crazy. You can't buy it without signing up. They want your data. Like I can't talk. see the options. Oh my gosh, someone's name on here is Panty Cake. 
<laughs> she said, I'm so happy I made the decision to sell here. It's been a great experience to be on my own, my own boss and connect with like-minded individuals. Preach. Imagine the dinner. The dinner with the, the, the homies that all sell their undies and they just talk about like what they eat to get like the most dank. I don't think that's... A, I've never noticed that. I've noticed that with men. I have not noticed that. You know what? I haven't noticed that either. But I've never noticed that with myself. I almost... I only notice different smell during period. Right. My... Right. My... Um my boss at my old job she was an well not my boss the owner of the company at my old job um where i was a interior designer she was so funny she um would talk about she went in the bathroom one time and she walks out and she goes woo wee it's stunk in there she had a bit of an accent i don't know why i was in washington make no sense she's like woo wee it's stunk in there and we were like why samantha i call everyone samantha and she's like She's like, someone period farted. And I was like, what? That's so real. She's so real for that. No, it wasn't like a fart. She said the smell of blood, like vagina, period blood, made the room smell. You'd have to bleed a lot for that. Yeah, but apparently she One sniffs them out. She I knows. I had a boss that was female, uh -huh. and she went into the women's restroom with me, and oh. she said... It, it was one stall. It wasn't like, oh. it wasn't like the restroom where there's a bunch of stalls and you go in and like someone does her hair and the other Was she in the stall with you? Yes. It was this one stall. This is appropriate. Okay. It was one, it was one restroom and she went in there with me. Uh -huh. She's my boss. And she said, you know, I know my way around a vagina, right? I so I'm so, I swear. I know that sounds crazy, but she said that. She said that and I was like, Oh? And I washed my hands, and I walked away, and I never addressed it. I never asked. That sounds like such a good porn setup. You could have yes. gotten licked right then and there. I don't want to. Really? Do you ever have those dreams we're talking about? Listen, if you're listening to one about it, we're being vulnerable today. Wait, can I... <laughs> what? Can I... Admit's the wrong word. Can I... Can I leak something? Yeah. Always. That I support it. person... Also, stuck her finger up my vagina once. No, you've told us that. You, she was giving you a piggyback or something. Yeah. She yeah, she wanted to get with you real bad. And I was, and I was on her, I was on her back, and she, like, she was holding me like this because it's a piggyback ride, and she took her middle finger and she stuck it up my vagina. Yeah, that's not normal. Is that or is that not sexual assault? Mm -hmm. That is sexual, sexual assault. assault. Yeah. It's sexual assault. You should f do nothing, I guess. Yep. Because what are you supposed to do? <laughs> nothing anymore. Yeah. It's been a long time. Kind of a crazy, kind of crazy wild ride. Did you like anyway. it? To be honest. <laughs> no. Don't say that on YouTube. We just did the Patreon episode, so we're feeling a little bit comfortable. But I don't keep say making. That. No, I, it's fine. No. I did not. Maybe uncomfortable. I made a joke with my therapist the other day. It was so funny. She did oh, not think it was funny. Dude. No. My therapist has never thought a joke was funny. Dude, it was so funny. I try to do bits with my therapist. I try to bounce off her. And every time she's just like, so why did you feel like you had to make that joke? <laughs> she's like, so Dude. why did you feel like you had to say it like that? This was this was like, my psychiatrist. <laughs> I talked about this last week where I went to a psychiatrist and she was like, speed run your shit. And I'm like, okay, bet. And I just like rap got her, you know? Yeah. Um, I, uh, I was like, oh, I got molested as a kid. And she like gave me kind of like an eyebrow raise. And I was like, don't worry. I liked it. <laughs> You didn't say that. And I just started dying you didn't say that laughing. To a random moment. I did. I thought it was funny. I was trying to break the tension because she made like a she was concerned for me face. And so I <laughs> I was like, don't worry though, I liked it. Like just like that. And she went and I was like, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, that's and then she wrote some flag. stuff down. But yeah, I thought it was so funny. Bad. I thought it was so funny. So that's my new bit. Whenever that comes up in casual conversation. <laughs> That's a crazy bit. I don't no, think I'm you just should kidding. keep it, that up. It also doesn't come up in casual conversation. I like that you like clear. I have my one joke that's besides like when that, I talk about my uncle. My <laughs> one joke that's like that uh -huh. with my therapist is when I, I occasionally, ever so rarely, have uh -huh. panic attacks, like full on hyperventilation, when I try to have sex with people. Yeah, um, it's really romantic. Because... Actually, I like that you do that. Not, yeah, that made uh, it sound like 
Be- just go. Because of what happened in, in college. Um, and every time I tell her about it, um, she, I, I just, like, trivialize it. And I'm like, I, I feel fine about it. She's like, I think it was fine. I think you thought it was funny. Like, You're like, it wasn't that was bad. Fine. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, it's, it was You're fine. like, I, I was drunk. <laughs> yeah, and she, uh, she does not like when I do that. She doesn't like that. She does not like that. <laughs> you were like, you should have seen what I was wearing. <laughs> <laughs> stop this is not this is actually bad we shouldn't we no. should we should talk about something else okay no guys traumas. what we have tra- we have trauma we have trauma but we're fine you know what we're we should growing call podcast i almost trauma a podcast about it. once called uh drama and trauma really with uh that'd be a better name our name is stupid as hell no it you know it never with who happened. Tell law. me. <laughs> Mitch Jones? You almost had a podcast with Mitch Jones? Not actually. It was a joke. It was a joke. But we did For talk sure. about it. Yeah. I mean, that would have been a pretty good podcast. I'll give you that. It Until it all went up in flames. Cr- Dude, yeah. the views would have been crazy. They would have been good. They would have been so crazy. Yeah. Anyway, we're not here to talk about that. We're me and Pokemon about- almost had a podcast called The Prettiest Girls on Twitch true true story I'm not lying what me and pokimane we almost had a podcast called the prettiest girls on twitch and it was just me and pokimane talking about ourselves you're lying <laughs> i can tell you're lying because you're looking nope. up <laughs> <laughs> nope <laughs> <crazy>. this is <laughs> real <laughs> that is crazy for you to lie about do you think she still watches wine about it remember there was that clip no. of her talking no because we don't talk about any Twitch stuff. We don't make any drama Pokey, anymore. if you watch Wine About It, uh, tweet the Patreon link. Put no! <laughs> give her something cool to tweet. Tweet a selfie, then we'll know you watch Wine About It. Oh! That'd be crazy she, if she tweets tweeted. selfies all the time. That'd so. be crazy. Don't say that. No, don't she don't. Yeah, okay. Yeah! Um, we, have, we have something crazy to talk about. Yes. Cutie and I are, are co-hosting... The Co- streamer running. awards. She's not. Uh, I'm never hosting with her again. I hated her. Yeah, I was really bad at that. A bug gala. No, it's not bugs. It's about bugs. It's, it's not about, about bugs. bugs. It's not We're about bugs. Do a gala. It's gonna be red carpet. It's gonna be a fundraiser. And it's it was all gonna about be about bugs. Invertebrates. And then I decided that all the bitches would show up as butterflies, and that wasn't good enough for me. Also, I want to dress as a butterfly, so I don't want everyone to be a butterfly. So, Invertebrates make up 94% of our animal species on this planet. They are the basis of all life, and they don't get enough credit. So, Cutie and I are doing a no. bug gala. Now so you're making me bad. Understand. You're making me feel bad. Because we're switching into the Amazon rainforest. The Amazon rainforest is twice the size of India, and it holds 10% of our world's biodiversity, but we've lost 20% of it in the last 20 years. So, Why? It's very her? important. Uh, mostly livestock. Mostly cattle ranching. Really? I feel yeah. like there's like, you could use like any of Ohio for that. Well, we do. <laughs> we should we use, use all of Ohio of for that. For, for, for the beef industry, but uh, they do clear cut a lot of the rainforest for They shouldn't use the ranching. rainforest for that. Use Ohio. No one cares about Ohio. That's mean. We have viewers from there. I know. And they know no one cares. That's really mean. There was literally a baby Chernobyl and nobody talked about it. That's true. Anyway, so um, for this bug gala, Cutie is going um, to dress bugs. up as a butterfly. And I'm going to be a butterfly. And I'm going to dress up as maybe a beetle. I don't know yet. And Stop. we're going to get together. And by get together, I mean I'm going to fly to LA because Cutie can't fly anywhere. And we're going to make our dresses and it's going to be sick. Okay. You're not giving enough of this. Here's the deal. My name is Cutie Cinderella, and I get satisfaction from creating events, and I want to do biannual events, so I want to do streamer awards in March, and so I need something in September, and I also care about the environment, but not enough to open an animal sanctuary, because that would be cringe. Uh, But I do care enough to do something for it, and I love charity, and I think streamers are cringe and rich, and I want to milk them for their money, and so I'm going to force all of them to come to a gala. Is it a gala or a gala? I was like gala, 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 gala. I don't know. Okay, Siri. She's dyslexic. Oh, oh, oh! My friend's texting me back. 
Gala. Gala. Um, Gala. Gala. It's red carpet. Everyone's going to show up as bugs to celebrate them. Um, okay. One second. Sorry, this is really important. Uh, stall for me, Maya. So, what you guys have to understand is that when people think of cockroaches, they think of really dirty places because, uh, people hate cockroaches and they want to burn them with fire. Turns out, cockroaches are detritivores, which means that they break down organic material to make it into soils that we can use to grow new plants and grow new life, right? So, getting mad at a cockroach for being in a space or thinking that it's gross for being in a space is the same thing as getting mad at a firefighter for being at the location of a fire. They're there to clean it up. You understand what I'm saying? If you leave dirty dishes out, if you leave trash out, if you leave any organic material out whatsoever, as a detritivore, they're going to go to that space, break it down so that they can create nutrients to grow new things. They're very, very important. Uh, it's why our, our earth is not covered in organic matter, dead organic matter, and poop, right? Because we have detritivores. Lots of detritivores exist. Isopods are detritivores. Cockroaches are detritivores. Your millipedes are detritivores. Dung beetles are detritivores. There's there's a bunch of them um, that break everything down. And they're very, very important. So we need to uh, be nice to bugs. We need to appreciate them more. We need to not say burn them with fire. That's cringe. Don't be like that. I would never say that about bugs personally. Um, I'm so sorry. This is a business thing regarding the gala. And I just need to send somebody something really quick. And I need to find it. She so it's important. It, I do need business. Audio listeners, I am frantically businessing over here in case you're interested it's also um, gonna be crazy what that cutie and i are hosting an event together because, we are yeah because we did this cutie and i used to do, like it all right we work together well we do and we did the streamer awards which was great and then um we did i don't know we've done a bunch of other stuff i didn't want to do the streamer awards because i've like i've like mm, i've separated myself quite a bit um, from the industry and so it didn't really make sense to go uh, co-host an industry that I've like stepped so far away from or, or co-host the celebration of an industry that I've stepped so far away from so I didn't do the stream awards um, but I was at the stream awards to support cutie obviously mm -hmm. we've done a bunch of stuff together but now we're doing this gala, gala. Um, which is sick because uh, it aligns with my with with my purpose and it sounds and like golly goes of... golly goes and gallbladder that's how you remember the word gala if you're dyslexic and you don't know how to say it gallbladder gala gala golly goes geo louise golly so anyway Louise. i care about conservation and so it's gonna be and really cool i care about planning events this is what's gonna happen <laughs> I'm inviting exclusive. It's exclusive and people are going to cancel me for it. But it's my event and it's my money and it's for charity. So if you're a canceler, you're lame. Um, shout out to all the cancelers. Um, but I'm going to invite about 200 streamers. I don't know who yet. You told me last time we talked about this on the phone, you said 75. Whoa, that's crazy. 100 streamers and their plus ones is 200. But they have to be rich because I'm trying to raise money for charity. So it's going to be the richest streamers. I'm going to have everyone submit their annual income before I invite them. No, you're not. Don't. S that's not true. I might. Um, and then I'll send out invites. Everyone has to wear fashion inspired by the Amazon Bug. rainforest. Amazon rainforest, not bugs. And inspired by the Amazon rainforest. And Maya and I will be hosting the red carpet. Kind of like the Met Gala, which is happening right now. Um, this is inspired by them, obviously, and charity. Um, and Maya and I will be on the red carpet and we'll be interviewing these people as they show up and they'll be like, tell us about the animal you're inspired by today. So and they'll be like, wearing? they'll be like the Jaguar. I'm wearing the Jaguar. And Maya will be like, the Jaguar lives in the Amazon rainforest and they're used for their pelts and it's not okay. And I'll be like, gasp. And then we'll make that person feel uncomfortable. And then this is how we raise money for charity. Huge. Um, is every streamer I invite, their admission ticket is an item that we get to auction. And surely Chuck, our producer of this podcast, will be there. And so I'll have runners. And, the, and then Austin show will be like, this is my used condom. <laughs> I was going to say, okay, because when yeah. you told me this idea initially, you said that people would show up with paintings. And I was like, we should do items that have lore, like well, a used yes. condom. So my 
my initial idea was I was like, picture this. I send everyone their invitation because I imagine that streamers are put together humans. They're not. I mean, I'm sorry. But I send everyone their invitations and it's a canvas and it's paint and it's a painting set. And I say, enjoy yourself a painting stream. Make sure you bring your painting as an admission. That painting gets, uh, you know, put on a website. They vote on it. And then it gets displayed in a gallery. And as they show up, they show us their painting and then it's displayed in a gallery. But anyway, streamers won't paint. They don't and they won't do work True. and so instead i'm gonna just have them bring something and red carpet is gonna be their outfits but also show and tell and maya and i are gonna be hosting the red carpet and people are gonna love us because we're so funny um we're and so funny. and then we're gonna they're gonna like talk about it and then they're gonna show their show and tell austin's gonna be like this is a used condom i didn't have sex with anybody i just wore it to, for fun that's awesome my austin impression um and then we'll be like great and then we'll add it and then i'll have a runner so like taylor will come and grab the condom and then take it to chuck and then chuck will take a picture of it and upload it to the site this is probably more of an auto job than a chuck job chuck is probably doing something else i imagine he's probably like switching choosing which cameras are on because i think i'm just going to use streaming backpacks to be honest because i don't want to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for a production when i'm going to be paying hundreds of thousands of dollars for decor and blah 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 anyway uh, and so Ch Chuck will take the condom <laughs> and put it on the website and then viewers, you will start bidding for this. It'll be like for eBay for 24 hours for the condom. If you want Austin's used condom, but only used by himself. Um, and so you'll bid for this and then all that money will go to charity. Um, but then we've gotten everybody through all the streamers have come through they've done their show and tell they've showed their outfits. Everyone's like, wow, streamers live such a luxurious life. I hate them um hey, and then everyone will come in they'll sit down they'll get their salads you know they'll have dinner and Catering picture it? this yes of course they have to have dinner maya okay this is what sponsors pay for sponsors pay for the production uh, she gets sponsors lol um can't take a fancy sponsor i'll tell you that much anyway um sponsors pay for the production and then all everything else hopefully goes towards charity um and then or it will go toward. I don't know why I said hopefully. It will. I'll, even if I ha if the production has to come out of my bank account, it will. 100%. I'd like to make that very clear. Um, so all the donations of the items will go towards the charities for the Amazon rainforest. Um, except for there'll be charities vetted by Maya because I trust her instead of just charities that are scammy because those exist. Conservation cast, folks. Yeah, it'll be good. Anyway, and then, so everyone's seated. And now it's time for the freaking show. We're going to have a hypnotist. Everyone loves a hypnotist. Loosen everybody up. Yeah, but that's because it's good for stream and it's good for the audience because they're going to select four streamers to come and hypnotize. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, going to be very cool. That's gonna... a, you can't... Don't touch me. Well, Absolutely we're hosting, not. so we can't yeah, we're get... Not, yeah. We're not part of that. So, you know, people that are, like, mind numb, so, like, you know, they're going to pull a Prezzo, Aiden, uh, Aiden, my roommate, not Aiden Ross. Uh, so, Prezzo, my roommate, Aiden, um, who else is stupid? <laughs> Hassan. Hassan and who else is stupid? Ludwig. Ludwig. And so they're going to pull them up there. They're going to hypnotize them. We're going to have a whole show. It's going to be so fun. You're going to stream it. It's going to be awesome. And then hypnotist is over. It's time to auction off men. We're going to auction them off. Because it's about time we auction off the men. Wait, I have something to ask logistically. What? Yes. Is there going to be a screen? There is, right? Like the stream awards where there's a screen behind us? Yeah, of course. Can I do a presentation where I talk about the importance, where I, I do like a little educational presentation about the rainforest and about biodiversity and why it's important? And I play a little like video behind me, but I'm also doing a little speech. Um, I was going to have that after the auction. Okay, that's fine. Just wanted to ask if that was something that was possible. Um, Can I? No. What? what? Hear me out. What if? I brought bugs. No. They'll die. Nuh uh. And that'll be the opposite of what we want. Imagine? What if I did two presentations? What if I did one you on can't. the rainforest? Did... You're being selfish. <laughs> <laughs> what if I did one on the Amazon rainforest and I did one about bugs? No. Okay. 
And now we're going to auction off men. So I'm going to get men to sign up. Surely they'll do it. Surely. I mean, some of them don't have the option because I force them into things, majority of them. Um, so like we'll auction off Ludwig, quite literally, for it'll essentially be a package um, where it'll be like, okay, who wants a paint lesson with Ludwig? You can stream it, obviously. That's the incentive is this, this is all streamed. Who wants this? At, who wants this record, date with Ludwig? This is what? for people that are in person in, at the event, yes, invited yes. at the gala, yes. not viewers. This is, yeah, this is only for attendees. So we'll yeah. say, you know, uh, bringing up our first bachelor, which I would like to make it very clear, he's taken and he is happy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say bringing up our first bachelor, Ludwig, this comes with a fishing trip uh, where you will fish and we will provide the Ludwig cameraman and fish. the IRL backpack for your stream. However, uh, starting bid for Ludwig is $400 and he walks out and then we milk all those rich millionaire streamers for their content brains um, for money for charity, which is exciting because like, hopefully I don't have to buy Ludwig. Hopefully Hassan buys Ludwig for this date or hopefully Slime buys Ludwig for this date and you know, we get all this money for charity and then they get a get great stream in return. So that's the goal. I, I'm really excited for like E Rob to go up and then nobody buy him. Not even Brit, because she's just not interested. <laughs> oh, Brit, dude. She's like, no, thank you. I love Brit. So it should be fun. It should be good. I'm excited. And then after that, we're gonna have a speech by uh, probably Maya will do a presentation. And then there's another conservationist that I learned. Um, that's pretty sick. I, uh, Aiden told me about him actually, and he was like, he's really good. And so I'll probably oh. do two conservationists that um, will do a um, like a thing. Um, a we'll do a speech. Yeah, let me see. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. So we'll do two present presentations on the actual rainforest because I think that's important. Um, he said it is Paul uh, Paul Rosalie Ros Rosalie. I'm I don't know him. I'll send you the link that Aiden sent me, but he said he's really great and super interesting, and maybe you'll find him and you'll be like, this guy's been canceled for this or something. I don't know. Who never you never know. Rut row. But, um, yeah, Aiden said he was super entertaining, and my phone is broken and won't let me send it, so. No, I got it. Oh, you did? What the heck? It's, like, actually I frozen. do not recognize this guy. Huh. Weird. Oh, um. Big. Well, that's the channel he was featured on. Oh. Yeah, but Aiden said he, like, listened to the whole podcast, and it was, like, very captivating, so. Huh. So, yeah, so we'll do some stuff like that. We might even do one at the beginning, and then so we kind of mix them up so then people don't click out because sometimes people click out because of educational. Um, no, mine's going to be so good. Don't even worry. Yeah, mine's, Here's what I'm thinking. Um, mine's going to be good. Vision. What? Uh -huh. vision. Screen behind me, mm -hmm. microphone. I mm -hmm. have an animation made, but it mm -hmm. it correlates with a speech, right? Mm -hmm. And so a speech, like I'm talking. A TED I'm Talk, talking. Yeah. But, like, the timing is, like, mm, yeah, it's, like, a TED Talk. The timing's, like, so good. And so I'll say things, and, like, sometimes the words, if it's a powerful quote, will go on the screen. They'll be, Cute, like, yeah. they'll be, like, sound, you know? Uh -huh. Like, inspirational music. I say, uh -huh. like, clear cutting is a problem, you know, or whatever. And then, like, yeah. there are, like, chainsaw like, sounds dun. and, like, animations of trees falling. Yeah. Like, it'll be good. It'll be captivating. Trust. Uh -huh. I'm ready. Okay. Okay. Great. It'll be really and good. then, and then... It'll be, you know, at that point, we'll be at about four hours live. We'll probably end the stream and then just drink and party and be so happy that we raised so much money for the Amazon rainforest. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. We're going to save the world. That's actually sick. The Amazon is so important. I know. I've always been really passionate about it, actually. Um, as a child, I loved it so much. Random. I didn't know that. I know. I don't. Yeah. I used to actually be really... I would um I would give uh ten percent of my uh money like babysitting money to the Mormon Church of course, um but I also Respect. would like remember the wildlife uh, like zoo keep m magazines, do you remember them? They were called something. Yes, but what were I those don't called? Remember what they're called? I know what you're oh, talking about. 
they had commercials and everything yeah and they'd be like t- like i loved tigers so much mm-hmm. and whenever i had a chance in school where zoo we books. could do re- zoo books yeah whenever we could producer. do reports on animals i would talk about tigers like crazy like i fucking loved them um uh and and i remember specifically that i'd get really worked up about the amazon rainforest and i wouldn't donate them money but i would save up money for zoo books to read about them so i don't know why i brought up the lds church (laughs) but i'm excited to do something for the amazon rainforest and i think it's gonna be cool what do we call it because like the met gala is the met gala I don't know. Yeah, but it'd also be nice if we could use some streamer awards branding of some kind. So I can keep it in the company. But I don't want to call it the Stream Gala. Yeah. The Leaf Gala, the Tiger Gala, the Stripe Gala, the the Streamer Gala for the Amazon. The Amazon Gala. Oh, because it's fun because streamers are on Twitch and it's owned by Amazon. The Gala. The, the I don't know. That's that's a that's drop a to the that's a detail. The gala. And then it'll be fine. Anyway, it's gonna be amazing. And usually what I've done with my ideas in the past, if I haven't I haven't said that I'm out loud because I didn't want anyone to steal them. But then I shifted my brain where I'm like, no, say them out loud because if anyone stole them, they would get shamed the fuck out of cancelled. Yeah. So I'm working on this with Maya. She's going to help, I promise. Um, and it's going to be in September. So look out for that. Yeah, it'll be sick. It's going to be so cool. I'm excited. I already know what dress I want to wear. But we have to make it because I can't yeah, afford it. Yeah, we have to DIY one. it because it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. she's looking at. It's made by Oscar De La Renta, which uh, designed one of Taylor Swift's red carpet dress forever ago. And ever since then, I loved the design so much that I followed his designs. And he's one of my favorite designers. I'm not kidding you. Not because he just did Taylor Swift, but because he's actually very, very talented. Um, and he made this gorgeous dress, which you have to admit it's gorgeous. Don't make the face. It is sick. It is so you sick. You sent it to me and I was like shut up that's yeah. crazy i said what actually what i said is i was like shut the fuck up how much is it ten thousand dollars and i can't afford that there's dude yeah i mean yeah but no no <laughs> absolutely not so we're gonna diy it and surely it'll be fine <laughs> yeah it'll be fine it'll be great yeah so we're gonna make my dress we're gonna make maya's dress yeah i, I hope i just my bit my thing i'm looking most forward to is people don't understand the whole inspired by fashion because like met gala literally designers will be like yoink i'm doing carola de Levine," and they'll like make her outfit right like mm-hmm. we don't have that we're stupid twitch streamers it's not like that we ain't we don't we're not like that and so i have a feeling that like s fans just gonna show up in a tiger onesie and be like it'll be fine that's fun tigers yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i think fun. it'll be a cool mix of like people being really high effort and then people also just in costumes and then people who didn't get the memo and they're in gym shorts and a t-shirt right for manscaped or something fair enough just whatever free t-shirt they got sent so it'll be sick i'm excited i'm, I'm excited for it i was looking at venues today actually Ooh. so should be very cool as always just like the stream rewards i'll tell cutie tell me what to do tell me what i can do tell me how to help you and then she gives me very little until i get there in person and then it's like a freaking rat race well somebody has to put the tablecloth on (laughs) that was me (laughs) just saying if you watch the stream rewards and you saw tablecloths i put them there if you saw the (laughs) numbers on the tables i built those (laughs) That was me. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty so it'll be that same workload, I have, I suspect. Excellent. Easy. I also, I'll probably need help with guest list. I, I, As always with events, when it comes to large events and inviting people, that is what I am most nervous about because surprisingly some people get, I actually had a come to Jesus with a, a content creator recently because I was like, it is not worth people, someone, or I know this is probably more than one person for the record. Because I felt on animosity towards people for feeling excluded, unwarranted animosity towards people for feeling excluded. So sometimes when I hear like a streamer 
make uh passive aggressive comments being like i hate cutie like she like she has that's a whole not, social bubble that's huh. not passive aggressive okay it's extremely aggressive I mean, it was aggressive <laughs> but whenever i hear that feedback i kind of pause and i think to myself why and it's like oh because they probably feel left out would i feel the same way yes probably mm-hmm. like if i felt consistently left out mm-hmm. um it's a very interesting thing because my job isn't to include everyone i have something to tell you what Ew. This is why we're not doing the bug gala. Chuck! <laughs> Spiders are gross. What? I don't see it. Ew! Maya, it's so big. Please get rid of it. Not big. He's big. Does that kind of bite you? Uh. Maya, he's really stressed. His mouth hurts. He. Uh, he couldn't break skin, but, like, technically, could he bite? Yeah, sure. What are you gonna do with him? Take my side. I don't like that you touched him. Don't say that! Uh, Sorry. Invertebrates take up 94% of our animal species, and they're very important, and they're the building blocks of Earth. We're not doing a bug gala, because everyone would show up dressed as a butterfly, and my dress has butterflies on it. And if you don't Oscar de la Renta, then you could look up his butterfly dress and gasp audibly, which n- no one's going to do. If you do actually could do it. And I wanted to say girlies do it because I know we have a 25% female audience, but also males do it. And then give me $10,000 so I can buy it. No, we'll Sorry. just make it and it'll be so good. And so easy. It's going to be so good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what are you, what were you going to say? I was talking about people feeling sad they're not invited. I don't know. Okay. Streamer awards. My my vision with streamer awards is I want to invite the top streamers. It's for celebrating streamers. With this gala, it's going to be a private event of people that I'm comfortable with, like, getting them to donate to charity. So that's a different level of comfort- comfortability. Mm-hmm. Like, it's the gala is obviously going to have to be friends. Because it's like, I can't, I don't think I could ask, well, I was going to say, I don't think I could ask Your Rage Gaming to give to charity, but I actually think I could. Hmm. Um, but I'm trying to think of people that are outside of my, like, intimate social so- circle. Um, and the word is immediate, not intimate. But let's just say I get intimate with my entire social circle. Uh, no good. <laughs> no! <laughs> she loses um but yeah i don't know it's it's definitely it's gonna be interesting but i'm scared i i'm scared for the guest list i hate doing guest lists yeah that's tough i hate it she gets a lot of hate for the guest list yeah people always get really mad at me when i just do my best genuinely what do you but i understand i do i understand uh i understand streamers feeling left out uh i get it i get it i totally get it i would feel the same way it sucks but that's one reason why i sold tickets to streamer words i can't feel left out but anyway another different story uh the gala is definitely going to be exclusive and i will not be selling tickets and it's going to be people i feel comfortable n- telling them hey you need to bring something for charity you should probably pick a word different than exclusive because then people are gonna be like it's exclusive what word intimate, intimate? yeah these are only people that we suck and fuck yeehaw yeah 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 so for those of you who watch this episode when you when you see that gala in person you know now you know it'll be now it'll you know. be i have to i have to have i have to have a spit trace tree do you know what that is no okay so like ludwig has kissed austin oh. and he's kissed hassan and his and he's kissed xqc and he's kissed ms kiff and he's kissed i'm kind of keep losing track right at the moment and so anyone that those people have kissed then get invited and then any people of those people have kissed have been invited because i've kissed ludwig right so it just goes it's just a tree you start a tree that makes sense intimate my intimate circle you have to have kissed ludwig or kissed somebody who has kissed ludwig that so or you have kissed me 
But the only streamer her. You kissed Never mind. Austin. I've kissed Austin. I have kissed another streamer before. But I shan't talk about it. Drama. I I don't even think you know. Wait, send it to me. Oh no. She this is gonna be on Discord. A live reaction of if you know this person or not. Um Have oh I kissed God. other streamers before? Yeah. Oh God, I, I hate that I'm sending this to you. I can only think of one. <laughs> I will say I'm not surprised by that, but I didn't know that. You didn't? I don't think so. How was it? <laughs> <laughs> I need to tell you about it at some point. It's a long story. Well, the only one that I can think of, you know. So, and I, I told you everything about it. So, that's all I got. You look Wait, like are you, you just... don't remember. <laughs> are you just talking about your ex-boyfriend? No, dude. Oh. <laughs> I never kissed oh. him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who are you talking about. I just have to do it. Duh. Okay. It's so stupid. Oh, that's right. so stupid. That doesn't even count. No, that doesn't yes, count. It does. yes, it does. No, it absolutely doesn't. does. Yes, that's it does. Oh, that counts. Okay, whatever. It does count. Anyway. That's funny. I'm surprised I hadn't told you. I don't remember. I, I don't remember things. It's complicated. Me neither. Anyway, um, speaking of ex-boyfriends, uh, uh -huh. it's time to go into a segment that I like to call, Is This Fucked Up or Am I Crazy? Okay. Okay. So... I've uh, collected in my brain a list of things that ex-boyfriends have done, and I need you to tell me, in your real, honest opinion, if you think okay. that that's fucked that's or I'm crazy. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Number one. Uh-huh. This is the second- This is the second time in my life that I've ever threatened to call the cops on a man. Uh-huh. So- we got I have to, to fight. pee really bad. I have to pee really bad too, but we're gonna work through it because we no, are I really have to pee, like really bad. But I'm scared to go outside because I watched a scary TikTok, so I'm gonna have okay. To call go ahead, later. and the first one I will Wait. give to them, and no. you will not give your opinion. I have to pee so bad. I have to pee so Wait, bad. Who are you calling? Why do I? Because I'm scared. Because I watched a scary TikTok, so I needed to open the door. Hello. Hi. I need you to open the door. I drank okay. a whole bottle of wine. <laughs> He's coming. I see him moving in the window. Okay. He doesn't care. I'll be back, Maya. You're in charge. Wait, so do I tell this- I lost the shoe! Boyfriend? Do I- Do I tell the one to y'all or no? Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys the first one and she won't know the first one. Okay, so the first- First one! Alright. I have- This is the second time in my life I've ever threatened to call the cops on a man. I have called the cops on men. Only two times in my life. Okay. So, I didn't actually call the cops, but I threatened to call the cops. And the reason is because we got in a big fight. I don't, I truly, I don't remember what it was about. I don't remember what the fight was about, um, but we did not live together. And I went to his house and we got in a fight and he called me, he did a lot of name calling. Like he called me a bitch or something and like called me some other really, really not okay things. And I was like, I'm not going to stay here. I was like, I'm not going to listen to you talk to me like this. So then I went to get in my car to leave. This is when I was still driving. This was before I had my current truck, my Ford Maverick. I was driving um, my, my F-150. So the truck, right? And I got in my truck and went to leave. I was like, I'm leaving. And he hopped in the back, in the bed of my truck. And I was like, get out of my truck. He's, I'm like in the in the driver's seat. He he hopped in the bed of my truck, and I was like, "Get out of my truck! I'm leaving. Like I'm going home. I don't want to be here anymore. Like I I need to leave." And he said that he wouldn't get out of the back of my truck until I talked talked through it with him. But the only reason I was leaving is because he called me a bunch of names and was like super disrespectful. Like what, he also might have thrown things. I don't remember. It was a common occurrence. Very possible that he like threw things. Um, so I was leaving, and he was in the back of my truck, and he wouldn't get out. 
until I talked to him, and I threatened to call the cops on him. Uh, unless he got out of my truck. I was like, if you don't get out of my truck, I'm gonna call the cops, and they're gonna make you get out of the truck. Am I crazy? Or is that f***ed up? Genuinely, that one, I would like to think that I'm not crazy, but I don't really know. You also have to remember, it was not like, oh, I'm gonna call the cops because you're, like, touching my car. It was like, he was in there for a long time and he would not get out until I, like, sat there and talked to him about what was happening and I, like, had set a boundary already and I was like, I just want to leave and he wouldn't let me don't leave. Don't worry, Maya. I- I plugged our podcast on Ludwig's stream, huge. Wicked! Yeah, I went in there and I don't remember what I said. That's so sick. He didn't have any toilet paper. No. Did you pee? I know. Yeah. Like a no, my vagina's all yuck. All I did all the way because I didn't have any toilet paper. Well, okay. I did all the way because I thought I had toilet paper, obviously. Oh. You can't drip dry as a woman. True. There's too many crevasses. Too labia. Oh. Oh. What were you talking about while I was gone? Uh, I told the first one, and they're gonna tell me if they think, uh, if they think number one is, uh, fucked up or if I'm crazy. Oh, I'm also confused because producer, producer question, breaking the fourth wall, you said, you said we started at 812. No, it says you said there was time above my cam, like in blue yeah. red. It's right there. Producer, why are you smoking weed? Tell us now. He's not typing. He's too stoned. It, don't worry about it. Just look at the recording time. You said there are 12 episodes and we're on 20. Well, I know that. I was making a joke. I'm just making sure I'm being a good talent. You're doing a great job. The story that I told for this one, I think I told you it. Um, what? Is, uh... We started recording at 8.12. Oh, p.m. Yeah, don't... <laughs> The story that I told is I the one of, of when the ex-boyfriend sat in the back of my truck and wouldn't let me leave after we got in a fight. Oh, yeah. No, he's crazy. Oh. <laughs> one point I, to him. And I threatened to call the, the cops on him. Yeah, one point to him. Also, one zero. note, I tried to get in. I tried to open my driver's side door to leave, and he slammed it. If that adds anything to the story. Anything yeah. to the case. That's one zero. Okay. You're zero right now. That's number one. Do you have one? Do you want to go back and forth? Or do you want um, to go through Yes, one? I have one. Am I crazy? Or, or is, this up? is this fucked up? Um, one time my boyfriend, ex boyfriend, sorry. One time my ex boyfriend bought me a bunch of gym things. He bought me new Nikes, new running shorts, a sports bra, a bunch of stuff from Lululemon, and told me. That I need to work out more. And I only weighed 145 pounds. Um, I currently weigh 160 for the record. My goal is going back to 145. But he told me I need to work out more. Am I crazy or was that fucked up? That's fucked up. If you didn't like want to go to the gym. And it wasn't like a. Oh like I'm anxious to go to the gym. I just like don't feel like I look cute. That would be nice. But if I justify blue, it. Like, here. Go I justify gym. his behavior because I was diagnosed with anxiety and my therapist was like, oh, exercise will help. But then he did like comment on how I had gotten bigger since we had started dating. Because <laughs> when we had started dating, I weighed like 130. When I weighed 90 pounds, a guy told me that a picture I posted was not flattering to my midsection. That's crazy. 90. I'm 100 now, for the record. She's freaking huge. <laughs> yeah, he was like, that photo's not particularly flattering to your midsection. And then I deleted it. Okay. So... You want to see it? Yeah. I bet I could find it. Because I didn't delete it, I archived it, because I was like, no one can see this. <laughs> it's not flattering to my midsection, I look fat. Of course, of course. That's how he made me feel at 90 pounds. Insane. Wait, actually, I don't know if I can show you. Yes, I can. Yeah, you can. This is for YouTube. Ready? Yeah. First of all, you can't even see my midsection. Because my 
hands are covered. You yet. look also, like you have fucking abs. It looks like I have abs. You look ripped. Also, this one. This is the one he was talking about. I look jacked. You literally look jacked. He said, I will literally look up the word midsection. I guarantee you these texts will come up. No, it was midriff. Was it midriff? Oh, no. How will I ever relive my trauma? That is crazy. You look literally like you have a six pack. I think that comes from it. like... I found oh. it. Quote, the newest photo shadowing is not flattering to your midsection not extremely noticeable but looking closely it makes it look not as flattering i would like to emphasize that upon first inspection the photo was great i still think you look great still who talks like that that was i read that anyway hello sorry there's a little bit of a tangent crazy crazy um no i think that's fucked up i don't think you're crazy i think that's fucked up I think that's quite a backhand. That was quite a, a bit of a backhand. A passive. That's what I thought. This one, this one's actually okay. Mine's my next one's a little bit, maybe a little bit more on the line. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am a senior in high school. My uh -huh. boyfriend, a year older, we had been dating for a year, but then he's a freshman in college, so I'm still in high school. He's in college. Okay. 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 So he was trying to make friends in college valid love that totally valid right he meets As a he girl should. in his in one of his classes and she had like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or something and they talked about how they liked peanut butter and jelly sandwiches bonding okay. first like conversation whatever. i love that for them okay a couple weeks later they go to hang out in one of the greens on campus like one of the one of the parks on campus and uh, he brings bread and a jar of peanut butter and jelly, and they sit together on a blanket, and they make peanut butter oh, and jelly why sandwiches. Why did he have to take it that park, far? And that's that's how they hang out. And when he told me that, I was like, "What?" <laughs> I was like, "You did what? You, like you sat on the grass and you made peanut butter and jelly sandwiches?" Yeah. And he was like, "It was literally just friends hanging out because we talked about how we liked peanut butter and jelly." Like, but it was do you do nothing. that with the bros? Do you do that with the bros? Because I'll be no. honest, Slime and Ludwig have never done that. That's so valid. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, maybe Slime one and Ludwig need to spend more time making this is a little bit more on the line because together. when I tell you that okay, I, right, right, I didn't, right. when I tell you that I freaked out, I I didn't like I was never the jealous type where I was like, show me your phone, you know, or like I yeah, never like yeah, looked yeah. through his phone or anything. But I cried. 100%. Can we talk about you don't do you look through phones currently? No. No. Never. I looked at the phone one time in my entire life, and it was when I was a senior in college. I looked through it because he left it open on his bedside. He went to shower. I went through his phone. There was nothing in there. I cried. I admitted it to him when he got out of the shower. I was like, I feel so bad. I'm so sorry. Never did it again. What's interesting, I want to talk about YouTube. This is my thigh. <laughs> She's wearing a dress. I'm wearing leggings with my dress. Um... I, uh, the only time I've never, I don't have fucking time to look at your text messages. I don't care to go through your DMs. I literally don't have time to reply to my own. Why am I reading yours? Right? True. Like, it doesn't matter. But the only time I've ever been so inclined, I genuinely, this sounds, people would call me crazy for this. I believe in women's intuition through and through with my whole heart. I believe in it. Because the only times I've ever gone through cell phones... I have been cheated on. Every single time I find proof. Damn. That's I've never tough. been wrong. Yeah, I know. I've never, I've never done that. The only time I found out that someone was cheating on me is because uh, people at school sent me a video of it. <laughs> was it hot? Yeah, it was so sick. I still have it. <laughs> Every, you know, every Thursday night. I just whip yeah. Out. Yeah, that makes sense. No. It was not yeah. hot. It was really But that's, that's why I know that it's woman's intuition because otherwise I wouldn't check because I just don't fucking care enough. Yeah. Um, And the fact that, like, I check because I'm like, I need to look and then I'm right every time is crazy. It's interesting. Yeah. It's interesting. Um, 
Okay, so you cried about the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, nothing happened as far as I'm con- as far as I know with those with with that girl. So. Right. Um. Okay. So there are levels of jealousy, and it could be sad because that is thoughtful. Was he necessarily thoughtful to you ever? Like, is he a thoughtful person? Is that something in his top 10 adjectives? No. Yeah, then that's weird. If he's like, like for me, me, I'm so thoughtful. <laughs> but no, I genuinely that am though. True. Like, I really like... When I go on hikes, I make sure to bake fresh cookies. I do this, that. Like, I'm a very thoughtful person. I make notes on my phone when I meet people about things they say they like. Like, I just, that's what I do as a human. Um, But if he's not like that, then that's weird. And so I grant you the permission to be insecure about that. And it's not crazy. Wicked. But what happened after you cried? Nothing. Cool. I was like, (laughs) I hate that. And then nothing changed. Oh. Did he, like, keep going out with her? Yeah, they kept hanging out. And then what happened? He didn't cheat on me, as far as I know. And when did he break up? Years later. Hmm. That's interesting. Your turn! Um, am I crazy, or is this... What is the thing? What is the topic? Okay, am I crazy, or is this f***ed up? Um... One time, I could find the journal entry. This would probably be better if I did. Um, Because I remember I wrote, I very rarely write write in my journal, but I remember I wrote in my journal after this. Mm -hmm. This was years ago. Am I crazy or is it f***ed up? (sighs) Here, I'm already justifying with myself that it's not f***ed up. Um, Okay, I'm ready. That. I'm not biased at all, I'm ready. I had a guy that tried to break up with me. Because I was too sad after my mom died. And I was really harsh in the vibes. No. <laughs> yeah, no, that's crazy. That's, that's, come on. Okay. But, like, also, that's... like, you know, everybody has a bandwidth. Everybody has a capacity. Obviously, it was too much for him to handle for how sad I was. You know? No. Really? That's insane. <laughs> but it had been like not. three months, and by then I should have been fine. <laughs> right. That's true, actually. <laughs> okay. You're really sensitive. Yeah, I think about that sometimes. That's you crazy. know what I You know what's really sad about that? Hmm. Is this was someone that, like, I... This is... And I've talked about this relationship before, and I, I think if you are a f- fan of my stream or whatever, this is a relationship that has given me somewhat of a complex because it's the only time in my life I've ever been sure about something and I was wrong. Mm. Um, and that's a lot to wrap your head around. Um, however, uh, when he did this, he like, I, I remember, oh, I remember, I, this might give me too much. I got home from work and our entire apartment was just dark. It was dark and like no lights were on. And I was like, what the heck? And I start like I call I'm calling his name and I go in the room and he's sitting on the bed crying. And I'm and I never see him cry. And I'm like, what is going on? And he's and then he like gives me this lecture about how he's gonna break up with me because I'm too sad and it's too hard for him to be around me because I'm like kind of like miserable to be around. And I am devastated. Like I'm so sad. And I, I remember being like, just give me a chance, just give me two weeks, right? And um that next day I went into work like uncontrollably sobbing like my mother had died three months prior which was also uncontrollable sobbing but like I couldn't get through the work day like and this was the first time in my life that I couldn't just suck it up I've never had it I've never ever ever not been able to suck it up but I could not suck it up and um my boss was so amazing and he's like let me call my boyfriend He will come pick you up, spend the day shopping, like spend the day doing something nice for you. It's the, I think about this sometimes and that boss had a lot of problems, but this was the 
the nicest thing he has ever done for me. So he calls his boyfriend. His boyfriend comes and picks me up. We go to Ikea. We pick out a random dresser. We get a new... We get a new mattress delivered to my house. We get a new bed frame delivered to my house. He spends the day building it with me. Oh we like go shopping. I buy a new dress. He leaves my house. I put my new dress on. I put a face of makeup on. My boyfriend gets home from work. I have finished dinner. I'm like this housewife and I am just like chipper as can be. And I put on this whole facade that I'm the happiest girl in the world. And I lived that way for about a year after that. And I just, like, and it was, like, genuinely, when I think back on it, so traumatizing. Whenever I had anything awful happen to me, I couldn't talk to him about it because I didn't want to bring him down. And I remember he, one of his complaints when he wanted to break up with me is that he, like, um, that our apartment was too small and he spent too much time with me. And so I went and I found a new apartment and I, like... Even though rent was X amount, I told him it was less because I didn't want him to feel like put out by it. And so I would just pay like three fourths and he would pay a fourth. And I spent two weeks repainting the whole place because I wanted it to be perfect for him and like all of these things. And like we moved out, we lived there together for actually many years afterwards. And I just remember like how crazy that was that I just like had to be this person for him because he couldn't deal with who what i was going through and that's crazy how long were you guys together before your mom died um i think three years oh fuck. okay that's yeah. fucked up because i was gonna say like i keep thinking when when we talk about when we talk about things that happen to us, I, I try to think about if it happened to you, like, how mm -hmm. I would feel about it happening to you, right? Mm -hmm. And so, like, if you were the boyfriend in this situation and you were dating some new guy and, like, his parent died and you were super depressed, like, because you're fucked and you were like, I, I can't be around this, like, it's it's fucking me up, you know? Like, mm -hmm. it, like, is messing me up mentally, like, I can't, like, I can't be around this, like, I'm, I'm going down, I would be like then you have to leave. Like, you can't stay with somebody because they're depressed. But if you've been with them for years, that's very different. Years is like, like, I've been with Caleb for a year. If anything tragic happened with him, I'm there. I don't care if it, I don't care if it fucks me up. You know? Like, that's like a commitment that you make to yeah. that person. It would be different if it was new. It was and you, like, crazy. You know? It might have it might have been two years. Regardless, it was years. It was definitely that's years. Crazy. It wasn't like that's a fresh sad. like we jumped into a relationship yeah, no, and that's then this. Really yeah, sad. it was like the most. I mean, obviously, my mother was the most devastating thing that had happened to me. But it was probably second when I think of my entire life and everything I've gone through. Probably this moment when I came home to a dark house because even still if i come home to a dark house i immediately mm. start panicking like it's crazy like i've told ludwig like you need to make sure the lights are on like and i remember ex with with this ex one time i came home from work and all the lights were off and this is when we had the new apartment or the new house the new everything and all the lights were off and he just happened to be like in the basement playing video games like you know very normal for him he just mm -hmm. happened to not turn on a light I had a panic attack before I could get downstairs to check on him. I was yeah. sobbing because I was like, this yeah. is it. This is the end of it. Mm -hmm. And it was just like so crazy. Um, it was crazy. But it was just like, it was the most like slap in my face because he was so, I if I had to like look at the world and zoom out and think of who I wanted to lean on during that, like that was the person. Right. Like I couldn't imagine someone being more supportive with a mother dying like literally like his family contributed to the funeral fund he flew out my best friend like he did so much for me during that i couldn't imagine like obviously i could you know like life is different but like genuinely like i thought this was a different person and then i came home and he said that to me and it was just the biggest it wasn't like there were no signs leading up to this it was the craziest slap in my face that i've probably ever experienced and it messed me up like yeah. I it was crazy yeah. yeah and i remember like years like probably i don't know everything's contextualized it's always a little confusing because i i lose track of my own timeline 
But I remember at one point I like directly had to ask him to apologize for that. And I don't think he did. Mm. Yeah, which is crazy. Even if he did, it wouldn't It doesn't matter. Work. Yeah. yeah. It's just what, that you know, worked. it's just it was such a massive slap in the face because I remember one time we went to dinner and he said to me he was like, "I wouldn't be sad if my mom died." No, he did not say he no way. He just said that. He said it. He was like, I wouldn't be sad if my parents died. And I do remember, like, years later, he took that back. But just in that moment made me feel like such a weak, fucking useless individual that I was so upset that my mom died. Yeah. He made That's... it sound like it would have just been like... I need to figure out which... Because ex... I think I know which... Too ex many red lights. About, but we need to talk about it. I'll call you tomorrow. <laughs> and I'll figure out which one... Because it... if it's the one that I'm thinking of, that is that it explains a lot. And I'm very confused right now. And like really? very, I, have I, mean, a lot I can to just send you their name, but I don't know if I've ever told you their name. No, the name won't matter. Um, here, this one. Uh, 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 She's uh, typing. Uh, uh. Yeah, dude, what the heck? Yeah. You never told me that. Yeah. You never. When you've talked about him, all you've said is good that you never told me. That. I'm very rose-colored glasses. Ooh, ooh. I know. Oh, that's I. That's crazy that you've never told me that. That's crazy. That's I not know. good. That's not. Good. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. But yeah, crazy. Okay, so that's so you're not. I crazy. wasn't crazy. No. no. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit of a long story. I feel like I've talked too much this podcast. No, that's fine. I have okay. one more. We're at okay. Go. We're over an hour though. Great. Easy peasy. I have one more. It's much more. It's much more lighthearted. Again. Okay. Um, so there's this girl, <laughs> same, same boyfriend, actually, um, boyfriend in college meets this girl in his college class, uh, and I immediately, here's, here's where it started. I started getting jealous about this girl when, um, I hung out with my boyfriend one night and he had a smiley face drawn on his hand. Ew. <laughs> and I was I like, hate that. Okay. And he doesn't do that he yeah he doesn't do he wasn't doodling do on his right. hand um, that reminds me have you seen on tiktok like indie girls in this movie and they're all like <laughs> da, like they like are these goofy things yes 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. like this is what that reminds me of. girls whatever. Yeah. okay yeah. so uh yeah so he has a smiley face drawn on his hand and that night i was like why do you have a smiley face on your hand and we'll call her sarah he's like sarah drew it today like in econ she's and I was so like, quirky and cute and i was like what <laughs> yeah i was like what do you what do you mean and he was like yeah during lecture i don't know she just drew it and i was like okay that's crazy so i started feeling weird about her there right mm -hmm. so like started feeling, feeling weird and then uh they did a they, they're in the same class together right so they did a study session together which is like totally appropriate like i did study sessions all the time in college of course like, i would just like meet up with people in my classes and study for shit. um and i met up with him after their study session and he like walked into walked into the house with um a like a gallon of ice cream that was half eaten um and it was lactate ice cream um mm -hmm. because she's lactose intolerant mm -hmm. and i was like why do you have ice cream and he was like oh she's lactose intolerant and so i bought this ice cream that she could eat because so it's lactose thoughtful ice cream. shut up so, like, it's lactose intolerant ice cream, so I brought it to our study session, and we ate it, and I was like, you bring bowls? Nope. Two spoons. It sounds like he was going on little micro dates. It does sound like that, doesn't it? It does. Okay. As someone, I mean, we've talked about this in the past episode. I am only friends with guys. That's yeah. my thing. Like, and it sucks, and I don't like it, and I don't okay. like that. What? Yeah. I've never had any of this happen with one of my guy friends. I've right. never had a guy show up with a special treat because I like it. Dude, my thing, if I had a thing, if I like, I don't have an equivalent. If, if I, if I was gluten free, horse right? Girl. If I was like celiac yeah, or something. Okay. And I told a guy, I was like, man, I miss bread so much, but I'm gluten free. And then he went to some, and I was dating someone and he was a friend and he brought me like a gluten free loaf of bread. I would be like, mm -hmm. I'd be like, uh oh, red flag is. <laughs> yeah, I'd me. be like, thank you so much, you know, and then would yeah. not hang out with with him anymore. That's how I felt anyway. But uh, then again, 
studying, you know, like you don't take ice cream to study. <laughs> They were they really did study. They studied in like a study room. I mean, I believe that. But that was very thoughtful of him to bring ice cream. And if he's I not stereotypically a thoughtful, thoughtful. guy. I don't know, but is he, he a thoughtful, thoughtful guy? I don't remember that. Maybe maybe I'm like giving him way too hard of a time. I don't know. Huh. I but mean, I, I think about like it. That. Okay. I think about it. So Ludwig has lots of girlfriends. Yeah. I'm fine with it. I'm genuinely not insecure. I'd like to keep that very clear. I'm not insecure. I feel fine about it. Um, whine about it. Um, whine about it. I, uh, he shows up with treats. So, for example, three L's and a W, they, they're like writing a song together and they do practice every once in a while. And he shows up with treats to make up for being late. And that's Ludwig, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't. I don't think he's like hitting on any of them bringing treats, you know? Yeah. Um, now if like, well, it's weird. Cause even if like, if Lily were to mention that she loves lemon tarts and then he shows up with lemon tarts, I still wouldn't depends on question the guy, that. Yeah. It depends on the guy because he's the type to show up with treats. But if your guy is not the type to show up with treats, then he's not, he wasn't. Yeah, then that's I, I weird. Pretty, I feel pretty confident about that. Then you're not crazy. This is the one who didn't like dirt. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. And did he ever end up dating this girl or no? No. Okay, well, that's harder. It's harder to know if you're crazy or not. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't think. It's a very thoughtful friendship. <laughs> I don't think that there was ever anything there, truly. Like, I think it was completely fine. I, th I think that the problem is. It might have been just like a flirty outlet. Yeah. I think we got together very young and there was uh -huh. a part of him that was always like, what else is out there? If, and I think, if, I think that if. he just like explored that in a pretty, pretty uh, benign way for years. Yeah. And, kind of and maybe we're years. justifying, maybe we're just trying, we're Perhaps. maybe we are downplaying our own feelings. I do think that was not okay of him. Anyway, weigh in in the comments. So I don't think you're crazy for that one. Thank you. Um, I would, yeah, I'd probably be upset. I'd probably be like, uh ah. And I wanna, I'm trying to think. I feel like the ones that I've told are like pretty obvious. I'm trying to think if there's anything that was like actually like you can tell me that I'm crazy for. I know one that I am probably crazy for. Mm. Um. She's phrasing carefully, audio <laughs> listeners. That is what I'm doing. I'm thinking about how to phrase this exactly in a way that does point out that I was in the wrong. Because for the record, looking back at this, I was in the wrong. But I also don't want to seem like a psychopath. <laughs> I have one also. And then that'll be it. Can you phrase yours quicker than me? Yeah. Okay, then you go. It's actually, it's actually um, with with the current boyfriend with Caleb, um, and this was actually me being crazy, um, but also like a little bit valid. But like, I wait. I have you I, talked to them about this? So are you allowed to talk about it on the podcast? It's not a big deal. It's fine. Okay. It's not. A big um. Deal. So it was Casual. very early on in our relationship. Mm -hmm. Um. And Caleb uses Snapchat still, and I don't. Um, it was like very early on. We hadn't talked about like we hadn't set any boundaries. We weren't like so like how do you feel about like female friend or like hanging out one on one with people or like how do you feel about this person? You know, it was it was just like yeah, like weeks in, like weeks. Um, and also no conversations about ex exclusivity yet, right? Um, so this was like over a year ago, and uh, we were hanging out and a Snapchat uh, popped up on his phone. And it said, like, Sarah with, like, hearts. Cute. <laughs> oh, my <Yeah>. God. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. Um, and I saw Sarah. it and I was like, oh. Because I, you know, like, before, when you start dating someone and you haven't had the conversation You, like, about don't know, like, yeah, what they're up you, to. You haven't yeah. talked about exclusivity. You're not boyfriend and girlfriend yet. You, like, don't know if they're talking to other people, how serious they are about you, whatever. And I saw that and I was like, oh, he's, he's still talking to other people. Like that's not right. Good. Of course. Um, and so I brought it up to him eventually. It took me days. It took me days. And oh, I was like, God, Hey, um, I saw this like on your phone and like, it's fine. I just like, 
do you talk to other people still like are we oh, like kind of like, it, it like initiated the like what are we kind of conversation oh um, god cousin no Swear and she has hearts god. yeah he loves why her. i met her like i guess probably because i guess you're not in charge of snapchat names they are so she probably put hearts next to her name i don't know if it's that or if you put them next to it but like i met her and like we talked about oh, it my god like, that's crazy bro yeah. i have one of these with really? Ludwig. Yeah. And we can talk about it. Dude, I was mortified. I brought it up and he told me and I was like, oh my god. That's Dude. so embarrassing. <laughs> Lud, Lud and I, this was actually pretty recently, so I'm being vulnerable, vulnerable about it. Um, Ludwig and, Lud and I go to New York to watch a, a, a symphony or something. I don't fucking know. Um, it was like a, like a orchestra. Orchestra. Thing. Yeah. Again, I am not a Simply. phone snooper. I'm not interested. I don't have the time. I have too much to deal with myself. We're sitting there at the symphony. And he, like, was taking a picture or he was posting on Instagram or something. And he pulls up his Instagram and he has a notif that he got a message. And he clicks on this notif and I just see the picture of the hottest girl I've ever seen in my life. I'm like, what the? Like, <laughs> she's just freaking gorgeous, right? And I'm like, okay. And then he exits out of his messages. And this Can is, like, on Instagram. Can you tell me all this for the record? This is a, yeah. this is a good one. Yeah. Lud and I have the conversation. Maya and I have the conversation. Well, it's ge genuinely kind of embarrassing. Because if I'm being honest, Ludwig is the last person in the whole world to ever cheat on me. He's been cheated on before. I've been cheated on before. It's just, like, we're just not, yeah, we're not cheaters in this household. Omega canceled. Also, so. we'd get canceled, so there's extra pressure. Like... <laughs> um but uh but you know everyone has moments of insecurity it's it's human it's fine mm -hmm. um and we're sitting there and i'm sitting there and i'm like i'm not gonna bring it up i saw it but i'm not gonna bring it up like i'm not gonna bring it up just because he had his phone and he was showing me something and it popped up right and that's the only reason i saw it i didn't go out of my way to see it i just saw it and i'm like okay and we're like watching the concert watching the concert watching the concert it's like intermission and finally i break and i turn to him and i go i'm so sorry like I don't know how to I don't know how to say this, but you know when you're showing me your phone, I saw that girl. She's gorgeous. What are you talking to her about? And he pulled it up and he was talking to her about a fucking mogul male. She like worked for some company that he was like recording a reporting on, and he was trying to get her perspective on it. And it was just like, <laughs> so embarrassing. It was so I was like, yep, yeah, okay, cool, dude. I had the same thing. <laughs> I would like to make it official. Wait. A whole bottle of wine? Oh my god. Oh, you're it's spilling dripping. it. It's spilling a little bit. As <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Um, I had a thing Welcome with Caleb to where... Um, he was showing me like a TikTok or something on his phone, and like one of the message notifications pops up from the top of an iPhone, um, uh -huh. and it was from an Alex. And I don't know why I assumed it was a female Alex. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I just it did because I am insecure or something. I don't know. I have problems. Um, yeah, it we male. all do. It was a male Alex. It was an old neighbor. <laughs> it happens, you know. Yeah, it happens. Who knows? <sighs> It's important though, I would say it's we are crazy, but it's more better more better. <laughs> oh um it's better in the moment to say it than to wait two weeks. So any ladies listening, yeah, just say, just Oh, what there. was that? The minute you see it, the minute you say it, you say, Oh, what was that? It's way better. Don't fester on it because I was sitting I, there okay, during the in concert, fairness, like I have so never seen something like that, sat on it, thought about it, and then decided not to bring it up. So, I like, you... Oh, I've never done that. I've done I that. always bring it up. But it's it's very cool. I, I realize how healthy mine and Ludwig's relationship is because he knows how much I love the tea. Like, even to the point that, like, he will, like, make sure to get extra details for me. That, like, one time he came, he came running the room, like, giddy. Like, he was like, guess who f***ing just slid in my DMs? You know? And I'm oh, like, I love that. Who? Yeah. And he, like, tells me the, like, f girl, and I'm like, oh, gasp! What the f 
what they say and he's like just hey smiley face and i'm like cringe and he's like cringe <laughs> and it's like okay this is like so healthy compared to like you know yeah. like yeah. that's normal so like also guys out there because the majority of our audience is male let's help listen females are pitted against each other from the day we are born i would like to keep that very clear we are not supposed to be friends um we're supposed to be the prettiest we're supposed to be the smartest we're supposed to be the this we're supposed to be the that the blah, 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 blah. um men also have their own standards but that's a different conversation i'm just talking about female standards so don't worry because sometimes saying this triggers a conversation where they're like well men also this and this believe me men you guys have so many issues to unpack genuinely emotional like all these things anyway but if we're talking about the female perspective females are pitted against each other most of their lives blah 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 I think we more naturally feel insecure. Um, so if, if tell your girl like the tea, I'll tell you what, I do not know. I don't know. And people, I'm not generalizing women for the record. I'm using superlatives for the sake of using superlatives. It's just easier to speak this way. Majority of females I know, we love the tea. We love it. So instead of being like, you know, Alex from your work might be flirting with you and she's actually a girl instead of like keeping that kind of like shutting it down on your own it is so much better to handle that situation being being like babe look at this shit. Mm -hmm. that is the best way to handle that so just so you know in case anything ever happens like that that might like put your own relationship in detriment it's so much better to handle it with like bringing your girlfriend in on it or bring your significant other in on it so they just like at least know so you can both be like what the fuck together because once you start having to sh hide things that's when like guilt comes into play and that's when you might even feel guilty about something that you are genuinely innocent for and you don't want any of that so valid that's good advice transparency is key transparency is important i feel like i talk too much this episode I don't think no we literally went back and forth with stories did we yeah you're drunk it was fine this was so much better than the patreon episode don't say that sorry guys check out the patreon five dollars a month you get bonus episodes you get uncensored you'll hear me say C Beep. that's what that sounded like thank you to our audience so much for watching us uh, I appreciate it. Tell your friends, tell your dads, tell your moms. Go check out the Patreon if you want to see the progression of progression of us getting drunk and also planning this episode. Because there were things that we lied about in this episode. And uh, you only know that we lied about it because we planned it on the Patreon. <laughs> you know what's awful? What? Is I'm going to break the fourth wall right here. Is we, we were trying to find a friend I could call to confirm a fake story, yeah. which we didn't bring up for the record. Yeah. But I texted these friends and I said, I said, hey, are any of you free at the moment? And uh, this, no. this one friend said, will I be seen? I don't feel like I don't want to be on camera. And I was like, no, no, no. I need to call someone to lie. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, we're trying to gaslight our audience. And I said, if I send you a TikTok, can you listen to the story and retell it? And then she was like, she was like, that's wild. But in seriousness, I can't make a joke about abortion. I didn't realize there was an abortion joke in the TikTok. And so now I feel like an asshole <laughs> because she's very anti-abortion. Which we're all different. For the record, I think, but we're all different. But now I feel like a bit of an asshole because I also said this when I was two and a half glasses deep. And I don't remember the TikTok. But essentially, I was trying to tell a story like it was real and I was a part of it. And then we were going to call this girl and have her pretend to be someone named Lauren and have her, like, confirm it. But, uh, yes, yeah, so that backfired. Oh, my God. That's so painful, dude. I know. Yeah, so sometimes you think your normie friends are wild and they're ready to confirm your lies, but this wasn't one of them, and now I know that, so. <laughs> yeah, my skin was crawling the second I read it. So when you earlier in the episode when you saw me texting, it's because she was texting me, and I was sending her the TikTok and stuff, but I don't remember the TikTok. I was just trying to, like, I knew it was a crazy Dude. story on TikTok, and apparently that person got an abortion in the story. So, oopsie, oopsie. 
Ow. Okay. Well. So am I crazy or am I the problem? I'm the problem in that. Yeah. I'm the problem. The I'll problem. admit. I'm the problem. It's okay. It's I okay. hope you guys liked it. Hooray! You whine about it. To Don't like forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you think we are crazy or rationale or if the guy is the problem. Or honestly, just tell us about your problems. Why not? We'll see you next week. It'll be great. And if you want more, check out the Patreon. We've got Maya telling you about crazy animals. We've got me breaking down some Taylor Swift songs for you. And then we got Trashy TV where we are rewatching the Jersey Shore currently. You also get uncensored videos. We also have stories about me consoling crying girls in a bathroom and giving out fake numbers and going to 6th Street. And, and bonus stuff. episodes. That's bonus all on the Patreon in the bonus episodes. Uh, so I hope you guys like the Patreon. I hope you guys like this podcast. And tell your friends. And we'll see you next week. Whine about it. Thanks for watching. Whine about it. Bye, Bye everybody.